come kind of a semicircle, a tie subocchio most action, circle movement action, out to, outside of his hip area here. So when I do this, I'm gonna come out and sideways like this. Sotogaki is a fun throw to do. There's so many ways you could, so many variations of it, uh, and you can personalize this. It's like most any throwing technique, you can make it work for you. But in this case, we're going to change it from a basic form, okay? But some people could call it still a basic form if you want to, that's fine. Uh, but what it, look, it looks like this, again, the way we're going to do it here. Standard grip, okay, to start. Okay? Again, we're using standard grip. You can grip different types of grips here, but we're just using standard grip for now. I'm going to pull and sleeve, all right? Standing sideways and direct in front of him. I want to be sideways to him. So what I want to do now though, okay, okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come kind of a semicircle, a tie subocchio most action, circle movement action, out to, outside of his hip area here. So when I do this, I'm going to come out and sideways like this. And when I do this, I want to be careful to do some certain things. I want to make sure I'm close enough that there's about a hand length between his hip and, and my knot in my belt. And I want the knot of my belt pretty much on the side of this hip. Okay, I've got some focal points I want to go for here. Okay, so when I do this, so when I come around the side, it's like this. Okay, just a nice half turn. There we go, like that. Now, you want to lower your levels. You want to make sure your belt is lower than his belt, and your hips are lower than his hips. Come slightly low. Okay, because now what I'm doing with my hands, watch, I'll, by doing that, automatically my hands start to come into play. I'm going to close my hands in. Okay, so I'm just going to kind of squish them, okay? So when I come in like this, squish them. Now, with this foot, I'm going to point my toe, hook his leg, and take him, chop him straight down. And I'm going to turn into him chest to chest. I'm just going to bury the guy. So when I, when I come in sideways, low, squish him, okay? And now look, I'm not going to make a big, big deal out of it. I'm just going to make a quick chopping movement here and hit chest to chest. You didn't want somebody here. Okay, so just do it once. It's, it's coming into it. Oh, okay. So it kind of works around it. Now, let's, let's parse that out. Okay, so we got, got a, he starts a little more to the side here. He's going to come around about a half this position. Now, see, his hips are already low, right? Knees are bent. Okay, now see, look at his back foot. It's ready to drive. This back foot is really your driver leg. Okay, and that's really important. And notice, squishing in. Now, see how much really close contact they are? And he's, his hips are about a hand length away. Now, what Derek has to do is he's going to drive with his head in the direction of the throw. When he hooks, he's going to drive his, his shoulder and his whole torso into it and take Steve down. Okay. And all that to get is, again, a glorified leg trip. And <laughs> leg hook. But come around the side. Well, that's it. Now the key thing is you want to flatten him out. If you want to elongate him and put him on his back, your right hand is really important. So when you come in and you do this, when you squish him in, make sure as you're turning in, you steer him with your right hand. You want to steer him and drive him flat on his back. Okay? Yeah, use that forearm right across the line of the pack. Right across this line right here. Okay. Whenever we're doing this throw or Oso to Gari, I always think of my forearm as a bumper yep. that has to like make contact with his shoulder or with his pec. And if it's not, then I'm pushing with my hand. That makes space. Too much space, space there. Yeah, too much space there. Yeah, yeah. Can you come, turn in the opposite direction? Now watch this. Yeah, it comes around the side. Now, to me, this is a real effective competitive approach to doing Kosotogaki. There are a lot of ways to do it, but he doesn't think Kosotogaki if you come in an outside turn on the outside of his body. He thinks you're going to do something, maybe a foot sweep or something else. You're doing a foot hook, yes, but he doesn't think a throw like this. That's such a close body contact. Remember, you've got to have a lot of contact with him. You can't do Kosotogaki way out here and not touch him with your torso. You've got to have that torso to torso contact. So, one more time, watch how he comes, circles around. Squishes him, lowers the level, and he turns, he rears.
really flattens it. That's a really good effective coast of the guy. And you can do this in any body weight, whether it's a lightweight, big, heavy guys, or whatever it may be. Remember the key thing here? Don't lead with your leg or your foot. You gotta lead with your hip. You gotta get your hip around a position past the line of his hip, okay? Do this one more time, I'm sorry, Steve. Now, look, here's his midline of his body, this way here, right? Okay? Derek's gotta get past that midline. If he's not, if he just kind of attacks with his foot, Steve can kind of with an Uchimata, okay? And you get set in orbit. So what Derek has to do is make sure his body is all the way around so the midline of his body is at least past that hip. So when he does that, he comes around to the side, so it lowers the levels, ready to go, squishing him, and watch it again. Okay? Once you do it a few times, you'll say, this is an extraordinarily easy way to do it, but it's also a very efficient way to do it. And I think that's why it's easy, because it's kind of a natural body movement, the way we do it. It's that rounding action. And use your grips just as much as you're using your feet. He needs to kind of bear your body weight through the grips. Otherwise, again, he's going to be mobile, moving around his, his legs, he isn't going to be there. Though. Yeah, that's a good point. You've you got you to use those grips to tie him up and control him. It's with our hands. So it's a total body effort here. Okay? Good to go.